Well, it's a bit windy and <laughs> this is why we're back here, not up in the north coast. Well, the girls are very excited. A large parcel has arrived. I suspect we have windows. So a project will be starting sometime soon. But, um, but yeah, windows have arrived. Oh. <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> Now that we're back in Carrick, what now? Well, now that we're back in Carrick, it's time to do all the autumn and winter jobs. Um, and there's a load of them to be done. One of the ones that we'll have to do is the sail bag because there is uh, damage to areas of the zip. And uh, some here, some down there. The zip is just UV damaged and it needs replaced. And whoa, <laughs> bit of wind. Um, one of the other jobs that we'll do is, I said when I put these lazy jacks on that I'd splice them and that it wasn't a perfect solution. And indeed it isn't. Now, one of the nice things about a Dyneema splice is it can be undone by applying pressure up into the splice and pulling. Sadly, because we'd put the um, main halyard on here, it pulled this one out because you can undo a Dyneema splice that way. And I never thought. So that one's back in with a round turn and two half hitches. But what I'll do is I'll re-splice that and then we'll put these on with paracord. But we're taking the whole sail bag off. We'll be taking the sail off. The sail will be getting cleaned. The slugs will be getting teflon this will be getting fixed, the zip will be getting repaired and the dining will be done. And that's just here. Other jobs are cleaning on the decks. Um, we're probably going to be checking the stanchions and see if they need rebedding. The old horrible solar panels that don't do anything are going because they provide about one watt, whereas those will do 300. Um, so there's no shortage of things to do. People moan about boats. They say that, oh, modern boats, you know, you, you buy them and you have to fix things on them. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm surrounded by flats and houses. People spend their lives fixing flats and houses. They spend their lives fixing their cars and fiddling with them, motorbikes and, and things like that. Anything you buy needs fixing and maintenance. It's just the nature of it. And a boat's no different. So it's, we've had some sailing fun. It's time to get down to the maintenance fun. <laughs> maintenance is fun, if that's your thing. <laughs> so we've got to do that. And that's our next job to be done. Well, one of the issues that uh, Beverly and I face on Salty Lass is when um, Beverly's editing videos and I'm basically getting on anything, any kind of work that will pay me. <laughs> We've got the electrics running through the boat and we just have wires everywhere. We've got, uh, we have one um, socket that's just underneath the sink. And from that, uh, we have a uh, an extension that runs our computers, one that runs to the front um, for the electric blanket. We've got tri trip hazards everywhere. So one of the things we've got to do is we've got to sort out our AC electrics to get rid of that. And while we're at it, we're going to put on our put in an a an, an inverter so that we can have uh, AC when we're out at sea and on anchor. Fantastic news.
never know when it to stop when it comes to talking to people. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> what I want to say in this little bit is I want to ask you your help. Beverly and I are still doing our Yacht Master and um, that means that the best way for us to learn is to do it and then to do a video on it. So if there's something specific you want us to cover um, that would be classed as Yacht Master, then we will do that for you. Um, two people have already asked about um, a video on the log, how to fill in a log book. Another person has asked us how to um, uh, do close hauling. So we've got a video on that. Um, so these are videos that are coming up. We've obviously got boat projects to do, like um, the windows. So we've got things coming up, but we need your help. If there's things that you want us to discuss or talk about, then we need to know what they are because we learn by doing and telling people and it's just a great way to learn. Well, we're going to start our projects with an incredibly simple project. This is um, uh, just um, the matting you put under your sleeping bag. Um, it costs five pounds, um, but if you can get them in sales and things like that, sometimes you can get them cheaper. Um, but anyway, this one costs five pounds and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into squares. What are you going to do with the squares? I'll show you in a few minutes. I'll just get a square ready and I'll be showing you. <laughs> and by the magic of YouTube. I have a square. So I've got a square of matting and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it up there. And because I've got the um, blind, just stick that line off. There we go. Isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of extra insulation. But um, yeah, this hopefully will uh, reduce the um, amount of damp that we get. But Beverly, as I say, another job that we are going to be doing is uh, Beverly has hopefully found a solution to my windows um, so we're hoping that we'll be able to replace all these windows so that's another winter project coming up so hopefully you'll want to stay on board for that one since uh, we uh, made the previous bit um, this has turned up and um, oh yeah well I remember had a complaint that the place doesn't look tidy enough, so we'll do our best. Um, so what's this? Hopefully this is the windows. Um, somebody else who's got this type of boat has had the same problem with windows and they ordered a huge big sheet of Perspex or whatever it's made out of. Um, they had to have like 20 or 30 of these things made. They needed six, but you, know, you have to get what you get. Um, so we've bought six off them. Um, now after we're done with this it won't be quite the same as what we have because these windows will not open they're not on hinges these are just going to be screwed into place and be weatherproof but we'll be able to see out now we never open the windows anyway very very rarely do we open a window and we do it usually to shout at somebody in the pontoon you know like don't rest your drink on my boat and things like that um so i'm hoping that this it's a very very well packed set of windows that will fit a Bavaria 36 with, I think it's Type 1 Lumar windows or Type 2 Lumar windows, but it's the type Lumar windows that Lumar does not make anymore. Or rather, that they do make, but they've changed the design enough that the replacements don't fit. So as far as I'm concerned, that's not really an awful lot of... Ooh. Ooh. Bev's all excited. Oh, he wouldn't be. Are the girls excited? They're always excited. This is, it's boat stuff. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. You packed this well. <laughs> um, uh, I just need to crack the corners open a little bit so I can just slide this stuff out. As usual, the second best kitchen knife is doing its DIY job. I want to come and help, but Don't I can't dare. do both. <sighs> oh yeah, look at this. Oh, now leave them in there. 
We'll show we'll show everybody when we get that video I can done. I take one out. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> oh, I see what the problem is. It, they've been cut with the the little inserts, so I'll have to split the thing the whole way down. Or at least more than I have done. There we go, and then I can just. There we go, you can get a bit of better. Ugh, put it up here. You can get it. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. I'm definitely enjoying this far too much. I don't know if enjoyment's the word, but there you go. You can, you can see them now. The, this plastic is to protect them, obviously, until they're in, but you know, these are the inserts that will fit in the windows, and then these are the holes that the screw fittings go through. They're a bit bigger than I thought, but I'm not going to complain. Um, as long as it does the job. It better do. <laughs> These are a lot cheaper than the Lumar windows. That doesn't mean they're cheap. <laughs> just means well, they're... let's leave them for now and let's do that when we get that project done. Yeah, but this is our new windows, hopefully. So, yeah, we'll be trying that out soon. We will indeed. No, because the thing that you're looking at is the fact that you know, it's all dazzle, dazzle. <laughs> I can see you in there, Bev. How's that? Looking much better. <laughs> right. I've turned, okay, I've turned Ninja Sand off. How's that? Yeah, much better, Bev. So what? So why is the computer in bits, Bev? Um, because it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time it was a faulty memory chip, which was in here, and I sorted that one out. But what I've discovered is I was getting electric shocks from my computer, so it obviously wanted me to stop using it. Um, but I don't give in that easily and I have tracked it down the electrical fault to a piece of worn insulation just in this corner so it's going to get fixed but um, yeah it's just it's an old laptop I mean it must be at least six seven years old and basically that that cable run has just worn on this restraining clip and the, the clip's metal and it's just worn through the insulation so a little dab of insulation on the corner, a little dab of insulation on the wire, and hopefully I will stop getting electric shocks. But uh, I was getting 8 millivolts, so I wasn't best pleased. So it's just a case now of just um, cutting up bits of electrical tape and sticking them where they'll do the most good. Mm. Yeah, so tell us, because uh, we haven't used that clip, so tell us about your electrical circuit when you had the chip. Oh, that! God, that's going back a bit. Um, it was this chip here. Um, basically what had happened to it is the computer stopped working and when I ran tests on it, it turned out that one of the data lines on here was always returning a one regardless of what was written into the memory at that location. So the upshot was there was something dodgy with the chip. And so I popped the chip out and had a good look and I found a huge big salt crystal stuck to it. Um, obviously the salt in the air had crystallized out on something on the board and it was that memory chip just there. So a good scrub later, that's all sorted out. So now I've got a bit of insulation to work on over on this side. So um, I've got to be careful not to lose the hard drive because it's got all our episodes on it that I'm currently working on. And um, just one of them things, I guess. So it's back to barge.